everybody, Kelly Sue with Cleopatra Art Studios here and I'm going to paint the gnome for our winter gnome box. Super cute. You guys have been asking for this. It comes out October 1 is when you can sign up and join us if you're not a member already. I'm going in here, checking you out. Here we go. Okay. Um, super cute. Ta-da-da, drum roll. Super cute. And he is very adorable. I'm painting my sample today, so if you're just joining, tell me where you're watching from. Just know that yours is gonna be a little bit bigger. John always gives me like the prototypes before we get going on stuff. So let me angle the camera down and go ahead and get started painting this cute, cute guy, which I'm gonna call him Sven. Oops, hold on a second. I'm trying very hard. There we go. There we go. Super cute. So a lot of times we don't have a video. We just have video segments. Um, a couple people have asked for full videos, so we'll try it this time around. And this one has a lot of layers. So I wanted to just make sure if you're brand new that you knew how this worked. So I'm just gonna, just gonna flip this like this. It's the tape trick. Sticky side up. I'm gonna put light colors and like in, in spots. Um, snowflakes. This comes with four snowflakes. Which side is which? So cute. He's a cute, Sven is a cute fella. He seems a little old fashioned and that's okay, a little vintage. I'm, instead of running this long ways, the snowball, I'm gonna run it short ways so it's easier to pull off. Let me write something really quick. Um, let's see, you don't have to do all the layers. This is gonna be brown. The hands will be black, maybe. So I don't need to paint here, but I do need to paint the background of the snow snowballs. All the time people ask, what in the world are those pieces? And honestly, they're spacers to elevate the hands up above the beard, if that makes sense. So I don't want to lose those. They have a big X in them, so we all know, honestly, <laughs> what they're for. And sometimes you have a little, occasionally you have a little cleanup to do. So John left me a little cleanup here. If you have a pokey tool, go ahead and use it. Otherwise, I'm just gonna come in with some scissors and clean that up. Thanks, Mr. John. <laughs> All right. And then there's a stand. And I pre-assembled my stand, honestly, um, so that you didn't have to sit there and wait for it to dry. And I'm trying a different stand. The stand that came with it was two layers and kind of squarish. I'm doing the three layer rounded one. I like it better and it, it makes them taller. It makes them really tall. So let's see. Black. Where's his hat? His hat is black. The strap is black. His shoes are black. His sockies or the top of his shoes are black and then the sockies are scored and they are um, alternating. And then the thing to keep in mind, John hasn't done this yet, but I believe he's going to, is the socks stop right about here. So I'm gonna just continue this line. And I, like I said, I believe he's going to etch it. The design did not have it. That way the wood from behind doesn't show. So I just wanted you to, to check that out. So let me just do this just a little bit more so you're not looking at the top of my head because who wants that? All right, so it was gonna, gonna sit, but I think I'll skip it. All right, so the colors I'm gonna use today are black. There we go. No, I like this black. Black. Pencil, bye-bye. Oh, um, a nice white. So the kits are available with paint and without paint. You know, pick your price point, that kind of thing. I'll share a, um, a link so you can get to the page so you can put your name on a wait list. So when you go to the page, if you look off to 
the right, there's a rectangle and it says out of stock, be the first to know. And then um, if you get on that list, you get like the one notification. Good grief. I, it was my goal to be like tidier today. You get a notification. Okay, hold on a second. I can't even say technology is against me today because how hard is it to squeeze out paint from a paint can? Good grief. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. And then we're going to use some cadmium red or Christmas red of some sort that you like. I got, this is our island blue, but I'm hoping to tone it down just a little bit. This, this is our one ounce containers. They're pretty nice. Honestly, they cost more than our two ounce containers. <laughs> I'm looking to dull it down a little. So I have some silver and this is, um, oops. This is our um, silver metallic. I'm just using the acrylic fluid because I have it. There I go. Um, but your paint kits will come with a lot of choices of paint colors. You do not have to stick to what I'm doing. You're your own person. You're definitely going to want a paint pen for the 25 cents. It is etched. You're going to want to pull that out with a little paint pen. Um, we did try to do it 3D and it was so delicate. It was a no bueno, if you know what I mean. So if you just join in, stop in, say hi, let me know you're here. Okay. Let me see. Here we go. All right. So the hat stops. Where does the hat stop? So if you want, you can take your pencil so you know right where to stop. Um, that, that would be my hack. <laughs> The pencil hack. We'll just call it the pencil hack. There you go. As long as you know that if you're somewhere above that, you're going to be a-okay. So I love all the elements of this guy. Super duper cute. All right. I wonder if you guys are sneaking a peek from work today. He's a little bit old-fashioned, I would say. Hmm. A little thick today. Maybe I'll just use a sponge. Just get them done. He's a little old fashioned, so I went with a uh, metallic black today. The paint kits will have just black, black. If you wanted to add the metallic um, features, Michaels has some great selections of metallics. And we are painting this guy from our gnome box. Well, we knew that the gnome box would be popular. So I think I just need to get close to the line, right? So that piece will cover it up. You don't want to go past the line because then it's his belly. We did know that the gnome box would be popular just because of the amount of sales. We have four gnomes, but honestly, I guess I wasn't prepared for how much you guys love your gnome box. We're just super excited to be a part of that. So I'm just painting everything black. That's going to be black. Just have a little assembly line here. I would say this is probably a one and a half mojito painting only because of all the letters. The last couple gnome boxes we had, the gnomes were squatty and chubby. I would call them chubby, chubby gnomes and less layers. And this one just has more layers. Nothing you guys cannot handle, but I would still say have that extra half a mojito ready. If you know what I mean? Just in case, just in case. And if you're picking up metallic black, Artist Loft is way, way more opaque than Liquitex. I don't say that very often. Um, and a much better price. For the rest of the metallics, Liquitex is way better. Liquitex is just a, a name brand for 
an artist paint, like for canvas and such, if you're brand new. All right, so go ahead and give everything another coat. Make yourself super happy. Um, I don't think I have to paint anything here except this bottom. Now, if it's bothering you and you feel like I need to have it all painted, by all means, go ahead and do that. But most of the time, I'm ready to get on to my next project. So I kind of want to get it all, all done for. All right, I'm gonna let that dry. Anything? Oh, yep, sorry, one more thing. One more thing that's black. Three more things that's black. Pretty easy going. Just hanging in there. Tomorrow's Halloween. We're super excited. It's Rooster's first Halloween with us. And we're super excited. We got him a um, Monsters Inc. the Sully costume because I wanted him to have something warm in case his parents decided they did want to take him out to um, trick or treat, you know, in case they wanted adult candy or something. <laughs> Again, I mean, maybe he'll eat the candy. I can't remember now when my kids started eating candy. Now it does look like the lens on the camera is a little off color a little bit, but I'll shout it out if I feel like, oh, it's not a good representation of the colors that I used. Well, hello, Hazel. All the pups are coming to say hi. Super cute, if you're just joining, we are painting our Gnome Box Gnome. This is only available, it's exclusive to the Gnome Box. Yours will be bigger than mine. This is the sample size, that's all I got from John. Um, and I think he said this is, I think he said this one was 12 inch, but he was shooting for like 13 and a little bit of change. So he'll get a little chubbier, he'll get a little taller, and then the stand makes him even bigger. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry, and I'm gonna work on the beard. Now we have full on videos on how to paint the beard um, with texture in it. We have several videos, or you can just paint the beard white or gray. I think I might do that this time and put a little texture with a sponge around the edges, just, just to shake it up. But just know that you can reference some of our videos on YouTube on how to create texture in a beard if you're missing that look. So I'm just gonna go in with a really light gray. So I have a gray that I have already ready to go just to keep things easy, but just of course mix some white, white and black together to get that gray look that you want. My gray has a little bit of, <laughs> hey Lorena, hi, hi, hi. Um, our gray has a little bit of brown in it. It's a little mousy brown looking. There you go. Ta-da! And then who else we got? Rhonda is here. Hello, Rhonda. Do, do, do. And let me know, do you guys already get the gnome box? There we go. Gray is a great um, primer. So a lot of times you only need one coat of gray or two really light coats of gray. Just doing a different look. And then of course, Shannon, who is an amazing longtime member here. She's putting together a YouTube video on how she does texture in gnome braids and such. We'll try to release that to you gnome members first. She's, just, she's way better at it than me. I, I can fumble my way through and some of the times I'm very happy and sometimes I'm like, eh, I need to do that again. But she's, she's cut. She's got a thing. She's got a style about her that's so fantastic that I just absolutely love it. And she was kind and so generous to say that she'd go ahead and videotape that for us. 
Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry super fast and I'm gonna go ahead and do the whites. I'm just flipping through here pretty quick. Going for pretty quick. Okay, so I'm gonna do the whites. I'm gonna grab a sponge and whatever I pick up, I'm gonna take some off. So yes, I have to do the snowball pile. I almost kind of want to make it like shaved ice, <laughs> but we'll keep to the theme. And just know that you just have to do the snowballs because the hands are 3D and the snowball plaque goes in front. Okay, just light coats on the faces of the snowman. I do recommend that you're gonna probably want a black paint pen or at the very least, you'll want some toothpicks to do some small detail work. And if you filled in like your smile, you can always take a toothpick and pull it back out. Like this, just dig it out. If you don't have a paint pen or if you just don't wanna buy a paint pen, uh, maybe you're handy with a brush and your eyesight's way better than mine. So I'd hold that up, but it's attached to the tape right now. So I'm just gonna keep on going. I did bring up some glitz. That's my favorite winter time. Um, fine glitter from Recollections. It is a Michaels brand. Okay, well, it's, it's sold at Michaels. And I'm gonna make some glitter glue for um, the snowflakes for sure. There are four snowflakes, two large, one small. Here you go. I wanna show that to you really quick. And then this video will be available for our members to view um, as a resource. Some of the new members um, want, you know, uh, you know, want help from the beginning to the end and that's 100% fine. until they can find their own style. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint this candy cane stripe white first, knowing that my first coat of red is gonna be very pinkish. Ta -da. Just to give it a base coat, I'll probably do that twice. Where's my toothpick? I wanna clean out my lines. If you keep your lines clean on this one, you can flood the area, and I'll show you what I mean by that. Um, with some pretty good results, I gotta tell you. Okay, so nose, the snowball, his belly. Okay, while we have the paint, right now I'm going to do the top of his socks. And I don't worry, I'm not worried about the top of his shoes because I have a 3D piece that is gonna cover it. So hopefully you guys are doing great today. Having a good day. If you're not in our gnome lovers box, but you're a gnome lover, um, you can go to that subscription page. And on the right, there is a rectangle, the long button that reads sold out, but be the first to know when this product is available. And on the first, here you will get first choice um, we are opening up 20 boxes so when those are sold out they're sold out and it's only only limited because we need to be able to keep up I'm not gonna sell more than what we can produce and at this time of year it's crazy oops it's crazy okay I'm gonna hit did I do this did that one more time. Go ahead and hit everything more with white if you need to. Probably gonna do the snowballs and the snowflakes and probably not too much there. All right, so the snowballs, the sign, the placard. The snowball sign itself is 3D. It will cover that up. But I don't wanna cover up my 25 cents and I already know I'm gonna ask John to engrave the 25 cents just a little bit deeper so you have no trouble seeing it. But what's gonna work best is if we pseudo stain the sign or, hey, you know what, I have some regular 
stain. Hold on, let me see. We have some regular stain. Maybe I'll just do that. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so if you have some stain you like, go ahead and use that. Or we're going to do a pseudo stain, which is just water and a paint of your choice. And we're going to, you know, barely put it on and wipe it off a little bit. So I'm going to add a little gold to my brown. If you don't have gold, just use brown. It's okay. It's okay. And I'm just going to mix them together with a damp paintbrush. I don't need a lot. I'm not looking for a too yellow of a sign, though. And then I'm going to water down this paint so that it's just lightly staining. If you want, you can. So you can still really see the letters. If you want, you can wipe off extra with the wet wipe. But I went pretty light. Oops, a little damp right there. A little, little watery. I like the shimmer from the gold. Ta-da! I'm gonna put that aside to dry. I can still see the 25 cents. I almost don't need to use my paint pen. So if John goes a little bit darker or a little bit heavier with that engraving, I'm, I'm thinking we won't have to do that at all. We might not have to paint pen it. That's, oh, that's not a bad thing. Okay, so I have some orange. Um, the clementine that you get in the paint kit is a little brighter than this, but this is what I have on my table. Here's a helpful hint. It's not happening right now to me, but if you have some char on your nose, you're just going to want to take, before you paint it, take a damp uh, wet wipe or a damp paper towel and gently clean it because that char will change your paint color to a little dingy. Just a little on the dingy side of things. You can scrape out the nose lines with a, a, a toothpick if you wanted to. Go ahead. So it's everything painted but his tummy and some detail work. Okay, so his tummy. I have our island blue, which is our light blue that comes in the paint kit. And I mixed it with silver just to, you know, dinge it up a little bit. Um, I really like Waterfall, which is a grayish coal blue, um, but it's not being carried right now in the stores where I shop. And so I'm not going to pay the prices they want online for it. So it's a little frustrating, but darn it, I'm going to stick to my guns on this and I'll find it. So I'm just going to make something that I really like, which is this cool silvery blue. And I'm just going to paint with the grain and I'm going to do probably two coats. That means I have to make a second coat for a little bit more paint. So if you're just joining, we are painting this vintagey old timey gnome. He'll stand a little under 14 inches, 13 something, to be determined. This one's 12 and it's my demonstration one. Super cute. He is super cute. And not difficult at all, just lots of layers. So I hope you guys have a great Halloween if you celebrate Halloween. So excited to see pictures of the grandchild rooster with his first-ish Halloween. Um, last year, I'm sure they went to an adult event, I'm sure, you know, because kid he was so, he was only months old then. Um, but this year, I mean, maybe they'll do some trick-or-treating. Maybe they're in a good neighborhood. That has lots of opportunity for candy. <laughs> and hey, if he's too young for candy, then this is more for them. Okay, I'm seeing, I'm gonna say it right now, from the video replay I'm looking at, that this blue is really bright. It's not in real life. And like I said, I feel like I almost have, like I clumsily hit a filter before I started recording. 
um, which I didn't intend to because everything looks a little yellow or orangey, I guess orangey, um, but this looks a lot darker than what it does look like in real person. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna let that dry for half a second and mix up some more for the second coat. And while we're waiting for that, I really like how this turned out. Um, while we're waiting for that, I'm gonna work on the beard. And I said this time around, I was just not gonna do um, the strands that I normally do, the texture in the beard that I normally do. I'm gonna do something a little bit different, but I'll make sure that on the printout, I will include the link so you can watch that if you wanted to. Okay, so real quick, I'm gonna take and make some more gray. So it was kind of a light gray. So lighter than the gray that I have pre-made. And my gray is a little, a tiny bit on the brown side. And this is just a pre-made gray I have sitting around. See? That mix right there. Okay. And while the paint is still wet, I'm going to, from the outside in, bounce a little, um, like almost sponge a little darker gray. Okay, so it's wet and you can do this with a sponge or you can do it with a wet wipe. The sponge though has a rectangular look to it. So if I just went in like that, I would have that same sponge effect, that image. So I'm gonna actually bend my sponge. So I wanna get it damp first. Damp, squeeze out the extra. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the black I have, and if it's too much, you can go into gray also. But now I wanna take most of it off. So if I didn't do that bend, where I'm making it round, it would leave, here, let me show you, it would leave, you know, like a geometric almost shape to it. Okay, while it's still wet, I'm gonna come in, do the outside, where I want it the darkest, and yes, I'll run out, but if I would have come right in without taking that, without offloading some of that paint, this would be extremely dark. Hmm, I don't think I wanna go up to the top, so I'm gonna just kind of bring it in a little bit. If there's still plenty of paint, doesn't look like it, but there's still plenty of paint in there, I'm just gonna bring it in bring it up just a little bit. Okay, so it's it's getting dry. So I'm just gonna go back in to the water a little bit to kind of reactivate the paint that I do have. Yep, there we go. I knew the dogs were gonna get going. Well, we thank you guys for not being, for holding it together for so long. Right here, you could argue you could almost use a little bit more of the black, but I kind of want to get most of it out. I definitely want to get most of it out. And you don't want to come in super heavy handed, and I tend to, I really do. I tend to have like the Hulk paintbrush stroke of death. And so many, so many people come in and I see them at paint parties and they're doing it so delicately. And it's just amazing what they're able to produce. So I was just thinking, I'm just gonna do him just a little bit different than what I normally do. Give you guys a little something extra to look at. I'm not gonna take him, starting to get that um, bounce effect Just gonna try to fade it just a little bit. Now the issue is my background paint is starting to dry a little bit. So if you start picking up paint, you can do a couple things. Blow dry it, come back in, um, or you can add a little bit more moisture to your sponge. Just a little bit, you don't wanna be able to squeeze any out and come in with a little bit of the, the gray. Oh, I like that. So basically you're rehydrating. So 
So super simple. If you don't like it, you don't have to do it. I was trying to give you guys just a little bit of something, just a little extra look. Okay, I'm gonna just soften now, soften a lot of what I have with some, just some gray, the original gray. Just soften it a little bit. Make sure you hardly have any paint on your paintbrush, which is a sponge. Kind of fun. I could play for a while, but the goal is to be done by the time Megan clocks in. She has class. Soft. Go soft, lady. Go soft. Okay. So now with doing the layer of the lighter color, and I'm going to hit the side, I'm giving it um, kind of the texture... I want to see like a poodle texture um, at all. Just some hair texture. Let's see if I can just pick up just a little bit more to the top. So here we go. And just play to your happy. I would probably play a little bit longer. Um, if I had the had unlimited time. I'm awarding this a two mojito. Um, painting. Hey Brenda, how you doing girl? I'm trying to write hey. Um, this is the gnome from the gnome box. A little sneak peek. Uh, mine is smaller than the ones y'all will get. Okay, so I'm just doing the same thing. I'm making the gray. Painting the gray on. Um, before the gray dries, I'm taking my sponge, hello, here it is, bending it, picking up, making sure it's moist, I have dampened it recently, add a little bit of black, and I'm just, this one I don't know if I'll go in so far, I'm just going to do the edges. The black will blend with the gray so it's not so bam dark in your face i'm just going to bring it in just a little bit probably not as much as that one tends to get away from me though if you don't like this technique our other techniques are on our youtube channel okay there we go so i think it works don't you think that works super cute okay so I know I haven't done his nose yet, his nose. <laughs> Hello dogs, we missed you. Why don't I put them outside? Well, there's some free range, yep. Free range locally owned in our neighborhood roosters and they're very aggressive. And so, <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah, I know, free range roosters, right? What would the world think of next? Um, so I'm gonna just make some skin tone. Brown and white work perfectly fine. Or if you want it more peachy, a little pink, a little orange, and some white. Just like that's gonna be more than enough. And some white. Boom. Okay, here we go. Make a little peachy, peachy look. And I'm just going to, if you want, you can add a little brown, sure. Sure, thanks very much for that permission. Okay, this is first coat. I'll come back and highlight the edges and such. I almost feel like he needs a little bit more brown. There you go, there you go. All right, the only thing we have left to do before we add any type of highlighting is to do the stripes. If you have a paint pen that you love, go ahead and use that. I'm just gonna use some of these paint brushes I bought that Alright, so I'm just going to doing this. Here we go. Hmm? Oh, I just dropped a whole bunch on the floor. Do you have some more things? Well, I know, but I don't need them. I just dropped them. Oh, sorry. Okay, this. Okay, Joanne's, I'm gonna tell you right now, I am not impressed with your paintbrushes. Girl or guy or whoever owns Joanne's, not impressed. Yeah, 
that one's a throwaway. I have, I like um, these ones are model painting brushes and this is one of the biggest ones from Amazon. I'll try to find the link and share it with you guys. Or just pick the smallest paintbrush um, that you have. Well, maybe not your smallest, right? Some of us have some pretty small brushes, but just a small to medium round brush. Get that done. I'm using a cadmium red, which is darker than our normal Santa red. I call it a Santa red. Do -do. What else? Okay. Um, I think, oh, the, the legs. Oh, I was going to give him one more coat on his belly ball. Okay, so I'm going to make, if you missed it the first time, I'm going to make mix silver and our island blue together. And in reality, it is not as dark as this. So in reality, I'm seeing it on the screen in replay, and my hair is really orange. And this is really dark. It's not, it's a soft grayish shimmery blue, hence the island blue. A little clump there, gotta clean that out. Oops, I had some red sitting over there. Sometimes that happens. If it's wet on a dry background, you can just kind of clean it up. Now I'm gonna start with a new, with a cleaner paintbrush, hold on. It was clean, it's just I also, right at the, the water cup, I had cleaned my paintbrush off, kind of scraping it. So you don't want this clumpy, you wanna smooth it out. Boom. He's so cute, I'm calling mine Sven. Just gonna brush it out, gonna dry it off. I'm gonna do some shading super fast while I'm thinking of it. And then we're gonna do a little splatter work and then we're gonna glue this puppy together. Splatter work, you say? Yeah, give it a little splatter work. We're gonna glue and then that's when I add my details is after I glue it. You can use a paint pen for your details, a paint brush. The Tulip 3D Fabric paint is a great option too. I would at least buy the Tulip in white. Um, I have multiple colors, um, white and black, and silver, teal, blue, you know, the, the normal colors. But I honestly just use the white regularly and for like three or four bucks you can do that. Okay. You can get stocked up on that. So I'm also gonna come back in with my Destroyed Damp Brush. I'm actually gonna get a sponge. I'm gonna get it damper. So I stuck it in the water. I squeezed it, nothing's coming out. I'm gonna try to activate some of this. Yeah, perfect. I don't want very much though, and I'm just, I'm just kinda coming around the edges. Just to give it some shading. takes a little while to figure out how to do this step, though it looks very simple. All right, all right, okay. I don't think I'm gonna do more than that. And I'm okay with the fact that it's not perfect, you guys. Okay, I said I wasn't gonna do more than that, but I did. Okay, let me clean my hands up and we can start gluing him, other than I want to give my nose one more coat. One more coat. So I ended up with the pink, the orange, some brown, and some white. So what I like to do is mostly clean my paintbrush off Go in with white, hit a stripe down the center of just a little white, pick up the color and blend it into the white and back. And then I have that, that highlighting as long as I move quickly in the center. If you move quickly, 
Um, I'm gonna add a little moisture to the paint. And so you can also bring just the paint color on the outside. I'm not looking for a tiger stripe. I'm just looking for it to be a little lighter in the center. Let's see how it photographs. It might be tiger stripey in the photograph, though it's not here. All right, let me clean my hands just a little bit and start gluing this cutie together. If you're just joining, this is our snowman or our winter gnome for our gnome lovers art box. Super cute. Okay, oh, shoot. I forgot one more thing. His stripes on his legs. So you're painting in the wider stripe. Whiter or fatter, not whiter. Some of you guys will want to use a paint pen for this. I didn't. Mine's not perfect and I'm okay with it. Because maybe his socks are like bunchy a little bit. You know, guys in their socks. They're candy cane striped, but all I can think of are those socks <laughs> from gym class when in the 80s, you know? <laughs> That's all I can think of. Oh my gosh. Okay. So everything I'm not going to splatter paint, I want to kind of get out of the picture so I don't do it by mistake. And you guys know I have lots of mistakes when I'm filming. There you go. I don't. Well, I wanted a little. No, I don't. Okay, and the white and the red. Okay, so we are doing, these ones for sure are getting splattered. The hat and the belly ball for sure. Oh, I got some red. Dang it, already right on that. So I just have a toothbrush. I'm gonna pull out some white paint, put it in a clean spot because you don't want to pick up other colors. I want to get it slightly damp. Slightly damp. And I'm going to just lay it down in the white paint. I want to make sure you guys can see the white paint. Yeah, in the white paint and take some off. And I'm just going to pull back quickly. Kind of, I'm not deep, just flicking at the surface. There is a little extra here. I might take that off. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Kind of quick. You do the long ones, you're going to get some streaks. So I'm just Softly adding it to the top. He's He's been out in the snow. Not a lot, just a little bit here and there. But we prepped the toothbrush by getting it wet, drying it off, taking the extra off. Oops, I got a string. I did a deep one. So I'm just trying to do at the top. Okay. Doop, doop. Just some cuteness. So it's not really showing on the blue, so. Okay, back in the water. Your finger. Super cute, super fun, a little extra. Okay, the paints I like, to, or the glue I like to use is the Quick and Thick Tight Bond. In the paint kits, you're actually getting the non Quick and Thick Tight Bond. It still works. Um, try not to over. Try not to over glue. Let me get rid of my paint plate and then I can just squeeze this out. Um, try not to over glue because um, you're going to get the Ouija board technique or effect or, you know, it'll also squish out. This paint or this glue dries clear. That's why I like it. Um, the other stuff does not, but sorry, that's what I have in the paint kits because clearly this one's really hard to squeeze out. We would all go into like an arthritis issue if we had to squeeze out hundreds of paint kits a week with this type of glue. That should be really close. Um, you can use a popsicle stick, um, a sponge, because it is a smaller project, um, or just about anything. So I think, I think I am gonna use a sponge. How about a clean sponge, lady? So I'm gonna take some glue, take some off, put it where I want it. Spread it around if you want. But you don't want to take the bottle and squeeze it over everything like in elementary school or it will squeeze out. Okay, here we go. Oops. Just you wait. You wait right there. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> All right. 
perfect. So I'm gonna just line this up with the rest of the shoe. Leave your tab open. What is that? That's the section here. It needs to go into the stand. The next piece goes right on top of that. And you could use a chip clip because honestly, if you walk away from it right now, you would maybe come back and it would be moved. And that would just be as the glue heats up. Dang it. Um, it, could, it could just move a little bit, obviously. Okay, here we go. So I want it to stay really in one spot. There you go, you cute, cute thing. Okay, next, we're just moving up. Um, we're gonna hit the hat. The curved side goes on his booty ball. Kind of looks like an egg. Does he not look like an egg right now? <laughs> okay, the next one is that stripe, the candy stripe. And oh my gosh, I got it on, it wasn't being careless, so I got it on my sign. Darn it. Okay, the small corner piece, it's bigger, this uh, diagonal piece is bigger than this piece. That's the one that goes in, it's curved a bit. I'm sure you'll figure that out, but wanted to save you a little bit of time there. So cute. So maybe your lunch hour is over and you have to go back to work. Give me a thumbs up if you're heading back to work right now. Okay, the frosting on the top of his head. He's dying for some snow techs. Okay, so I over glued there. What do I do? You can take an old paintbrush, one that you don't necessarily love, or even a damp one. Just pull it out. You kind of see how it's sliding all over. But I know that it'll dry clear. I'm okay with that. If your glue is yellow, it's not gonna dry clear, but this one will. Okay, let's do this big old honking beard that I did a different way than I normally do it. And it's okay, I just wanted to give you some options. Just fits in there. Take a second and hold it in place. Gently, or if you have some time, you can chip clip it. This goes on the bottom. Okay, his mustachio. So, howdy, Donna, sneak in a peek. This is our um, Gnome Lovers box. Yours will be bigger. We're just, I wanted to videotape this since we had so many new members that had questions last, last time we opened. Stay. <laughs> All right, so this will need to be elevated to protect the mittens. I mean, it obviously sits all by itself. But to protect the mittens, specifically when you store it from snapping, you want to use the X's. Kind of figure out where they're going to be. So the middle ball is almost at the top there. So I am not in the right spot. I need to move up a little bit more. So maybe dry fit it first. Fancy word. Before I didn't use glue, I just tried it out. There we go. So now I can do my, I gotta remember where they go. Okay. Right there, I'm thinking. Maybe in a little bit. And I thought I had more than enough glue. Holy smokes, I did not. And just keep in mind that my blue that you're seeing here on the screen is not, well, I'm ready now, is not as blue as it is in real life, or is more blue than it is in real life. Mine is very subtle, it's been mixed with gray, but the camera's being odd today. Okay, um, okay it's easier to, I don't wanna glue the whole back. Okay, so I'm kind of seeing, I'm gonna put some glue right across the sides there. So I'm gonna use my spout, I think. Maybe just two little lines, a little on my X. X's and O's. Okay. 
Like, I feel like this could go out a little bit. I see I have a little time to play with this glue. I love this glue. Okay. And press down, but not too hard because, um, what am I on? Why is he up so high? Oh, because of the chip clip, you dummy. Okay, there you go. <laughs> so you could chip clip this one now if you wanted to. You don't have to. I was like, why am I teeter tottering? Okay, moving on. The hands will be glued there. The snowball thingy will go here. So let me move this just a little bit. Okay, cute sign. I will have John etch the 25 cents deeper because it's not deep enough. Hey, Sandy, how you doing, girl? Um, I got my nose, my warm nose. Very peachy nose. I want peachy, super peachy. He's multiple layers. Um, yours will be 14, almost 14 inches. Oops, hold on. I didn't need to glue that one yet. Um, almost 14 inches tall. This one is 12, so yours will be bigger. John gave me the little one, go figure. Okay, so these do not line up at the top here. It's a second row of snowballs. These guys are smiling, how cute is that? So cute. Okay, so careful when you rip your snowball off and I went you know, this way instead of the other way. The snowball is in 3D font. It is very delicate. Do we have worse? Um, a lot of times if they snap, you can just glue them back on and you'll never know. Or if it's a problem, let us know and we'll try to get one out to you. But again, it could snap again. So it's just delicate. Oh, Lula from shipping. I over, I over glued. Don't do as I say, <laughs> or don't do as I do. Oh, Sandra, hi, doing good. She's doing good, awesome. I haven't seen you guys. Um, I just got so busy, I couldn't go to top down this year. Um, I just can't sneak two or three days out of the studio or out of the workshop, um, which is a good thing. But missing you guys, missing your faces. So cute. Okay, oh, okay, so the noses. I need to paint the faces with a paint pen. Um, hold on, this one's gonna go this way. And this one's shorter, it's gonna go this way. Ta-da, I gotta paint the face. Okay, this goes on the bottom right above or right on the line. If you go too low, this will never stand in the stand. So please, please, please make it flush with that. You don't even need it, but I think I like it. It's more, we like all this stuff, don't we ladies? All the stuff. Hey Rhonda, hanging in there? My goal was to be done before um, Megan gets here. I got a little black on that though. Hold on, one of these has white, this one. There we go. Okay, let me get my chip clip out of here. This came with this size stand. Um, I believe we're gonna be switching to the rounded stand and it's a three piece instead of just two. You're welcome. <laughs> it just works better. I like it, it looks better, it works better. Um, you can put some, you can put some dirty snow around the top if you want. I mean, just to give it some dimension. Da -da. Okay, this one's the really big one and it's gonna go right here. Yeah, right there. My nose came out great, happy with the nose. Okay, hands are on next. This one goes at the bottom. I, so here's my, um, if anything, I might, I would, you know, I might want to shrink some of these snowflakes down. And this is why when you store them, they could snap really easy. Tell me what you think. Um, I don't like it when they don't have support. Like I'm okay with this one, um, for sure. This one does not have, let me show you with the, with the paintbrush, does not have any support from here up. 
This one, same thing. This one, I think you could, I think you're okay with this one. Um, if you guys are okay, I'd like to shrink these two a little bit smaller. Hey, Kristen, thank you so much. This is for the gnome box. Um, so if, if you're hearing me right now, um, vote on this a little bit. These two, I'd like to shrink a little so that they're not 